Hello, Michael Gandolfi here. I'd like to say a few words about my upcoming piece, Line Drawings. A line drawing is a work of art. It's a technique of making art by which the artist takes the writing implement, places it on the page, makes the work of art, and when that, when that implement is lifted, the work is complete. Picasso made many line drawings, and I was inspired by them actually when starting this piece. I'd like to show you a picture of one. So this uh, is the cover of my score, and on it, you see this line drawing here. This is one of Picasso's line drawings of a horse. And you can see that it's uh, very linear and uh, really just made with one stroke of the writing implement. There are five movements in my piece, uh, three of which you'll hear tonight. The first movement is titled Canon Cut and Paste. A canon is a type of uh, compositional technique by which uh, a melody is performed or sung, and then each subsequent player uh, plays that melody or sings that melody after, having, after it having been uh, sung or played by the previous player. Row, row, row your boat is a type of, of canon that might help you uh, orient to it if you're not familiar with, uh, with canons. I suggest just listening to the movement and not getting all caught up in the uh, te this technical aspect, however, although you may choose to do that from time to time. Um, instead, I would suggest just listening to the movement and um, for the different types of textures uh, that are created by this uh, rather limited technique. The second movement is titled A Farewell to Old Friends. Um, it's not a goodbye to old friends, actually. It's, um, it's not programmatic in that way. Um, but I actually was revisiting some of uh, the materials that I used to use as a younger composer uh, that, um, uh, by which uh, Stravinsky inspired me to explore. So Stravinsky is really the old friend in this, um, in this piece. It's a lyrical piece. Uh, featuring these long melodies. Um, and uh, so I suggest just, again, once again, just letting this, uh, the overall, in this case, environment that it creates uh, to take over. Uh, the last movement you'll hear is titled Hidden Variable, and it's a deconstruction of a J.S. Bach chorale. Um, here I would suggest just listening to the cadence points or the points where uh, the piece relaxes and those are the connections that might be most evident uh, relative to the music of J.S. Bach. Otherwise, I don't think you'll be hearing much Bach in this, uh, as you'll see, um, until the very last phrase of the piece, which is a quote of the final uh, phrase of the Bach chorale, uh, but stretched way out in time. So even then, it might not be so evident that it's uh, tethered to a, a Bach chorale. I'd like to thank Juventus for performing this piece. Uh, they gave me a wonderful performance um, in their recent past. Thank you.